just got back from pickleball. I'm starving. So I'm going to make omurais, which is actually one of my favorite foods growing up. I asked my mom to make this for me all the time. It's basically just like fried rice with a thin layer of fried egg over it. I'm using steak from Costco. I think this is ribeye. I just have a lot of steak. I've been defrosting it since last night, but it's still not defrosted. So I'm going to have to cut this up, but I don't know. I feel like this might be too much, so maybe I'll use half. For the rest of the ingredients, you're just going to need a carrot, some potato. This is just how my mom made it for me growing up with potato. An onion, garlic. Garlic, you can use minced or fresh. A little bit of butter, ketchup, rice, and eggs. That's it. I made this rice earlier. It's my first time actually checking it. Ooh, looks good. This is the low carb rice option. I'm just gonna mix the rice a little. I love the taste of fresh white rice. So whenever I make rice, I always have a little bite in the beginning. Mm. So we'll start with the veggies first. So I like my veggies really small in fried rice, so make the carrot super small. gets infused together. Mmm, smells so good already. bowl so I can shape it. Mmm, this smells so good because of ketchup. I'm just gonna smush everything in here and let it cool so it keeps the shape. For the egg, I'm gonna crack two eggs into a bowl. The pinch of salt. And whisk. And I'm just gonna use the same pan because I don't wanna use two different pans. Well, first, let me clean it. Lightly. Now on super low heat, just put it out. And I'm just gonna let that cook. I'll put the lid on. Okay, so this is done. Okay, time for the most exciting part, plating the omurais. Center it here. <gasps> Perfect. Now pick it up. Is it gonna come off? And wrap it, woo! Phew. The inner part of the egg is actually a little sticky, so it'll stick on perfectly. So here's my omurice in its pure form, but I am a ketchup extremist, so I'm gonna add more ketchup. I'm so excited to eat this. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to eat this. I'm so proud of it. Doesn't it look so pretty? I don't wanna cut it almost. It's too sad, but 
I'm gonna have to cut into it. I feel like I need to cut it this way to show. Okay, first bite. Mm, it smells so good. Mm, wow, I'm not kidding. Because the egg is slightly soft too, like the inner part's slightly runny, it's so good. I need more ketchup though. Mmm. Good morning. It is actually not the morning anymore. It's past 12. Oh, look who finally got out of bed. Hello. This is Chewy, the biggest sleepyhead the world probably has ever seen. I want to pick up a sandwich from Al Antico Veneo, which is a really famous panini shop from... Actually, I don't know if it's panini. Anyway, it's a super famous sandwich shop from Florence, and I had it there when I was studying abroad in Rome, and I was obsessed with it, but now there are several locations in LA, and one of them is in K-Town, super close to me, so I'm going to go get some of that today. Chewy. I'm back home now with my sandwich. I think it's pronounced Al Antico Veneo. Not sure. I haven't had this since, I don't know, 2014 maybe. So, wow, it's been 10 years. It's been 10 years since I had this. I got the La Paradiso. Apparently this is the most popular. I don't remember what I ate the few times I ate it in Florence. Oh, so it's huge huge I'll just show you what it looks like inside so that's the pistachio cream I'm so excited to eat this I think I need to cut it mmm I need to cut it yum the pistachio is super light and mixed with the cheese it's super creamy so it's actually really refreshing it's really good but I do wish there was some tomato in here, maybe some arugula. So next time, I'll try something new, but this is their most popular one. Better. So I am back from my walk. I'm gonna make my water. Okay, that sounds weird. Make my water. I'm gonna start the day with some water. But I love poricha, which is I think barley tea in English. But Koreans drink it as water all the time. So I have this yuginong poricha, which just means organic barley. These are the larger packets. So they have ones that are like smaller for actual tea. But I get the big ones that look like this. And I just put it in my entire water bottle for the day. Just put the whole thing in there. And it really helps with drinking more water if your water tastes super good. It's obviously not flavored now, but it will be throughout the day. So I just finished my coffee. I'm just gonna have a yogurt bowl for breakfast, but I wanted to show my new cute little, what do you call this? Fruit and veggie container. It comes with a ventilated lid, so you could either ventilate it or not. And it has this little like colander inside so you can wash your fruit and veggies and put it in directly. I love things like this. I love things for the kitchen. And I always go to places like Marshalls or TJ Maxx to buy these kind of things because they're so much cheaper. I think this is like $7 versus, I don't know, it would have probably been like $10 or more on Amazon, so. And I'm trying out a new granola for the first time today. This is from Trader Joe's. This is a grainless granola. And one thing that I always look for in granola if I buy it from a store is the sugar. So this has about eight grams of sugar in one serving, which is pretty good compared to a lot of the other ones. If you actually check the sugar, it's like 
usually anywhere from 12 to 16 to sometimes like 24 grams of sugar in one serving, which is crazy. Some honey. Okay, now it's complete. I am off to buy some natto because my friend makes, well, I guess my friend's boyfriend makes like a really good natto 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 and tofu dish that i've been really wanting to try i've actually never tried natto so i'm hoping i like it i know that it's an acquired taste but i think i'll like it so i'm gonna make it today so i need to go buy the ingredients so i am very excited today because david is coming to la um i'm so excited so i kind of want to have a light lunch so we could eat dinner together I think something about long distance is that although there's obviously a lot of cons, one pro is that you're always like 10 times more excited to see each other just because we're not together a lot. So I'm like so excited to see him. So, and then we go to our summer trip together. So, so excited. Also, I keep this Polaroid in the car. It's from our one year anniversary and day four with Chewy. Look at this, so cute. Look at how tiny Chibi was. She was like this big. So cute. Okay, we are back home. I am so hungry now. I can't wait to try this. So my friend told me to get onions, shallots, shiso, um, with the natto obviously, and the tofu. Each mart didn't have shallots, so I just got regular garlic and I personally don't like shiso leaves so I got pearl leaves instead. I think it'll still be good. I got silken tofu because I want it to be super soft and then this is the natto so it's Japanese fermented soybeans. I got a three pack because this was a good deal. So this is what we're going for. This is a picture my friend sent me of how she eats it so salt a little bit of soy sauce so like that much now for the tofu i cut the tofu in half and try to kind of dry it a bit the exciting part oh oh What's this? Okay, so my friend said it's just a sauce. You just mix it in. It's like frozen though. Oh. Um, I think I was supposed to defrost it. Okay, I put it in the microwave for like 20 seconds and this is what it looks like now. Kind of smells weird. Oh my gosh, am I gonna like this? I'm gonna put it over the tofu. Like this. Garlic. And the pearly leaves. Here is the final product. I have no idea if I'm gonna like this or not. I'm a little bit nervous. Even if I don't like it, I'm gonna force myself to eat it because I don't wanna waste it. I mean, it looks really good. The presentation is, I think, great, right? I'm just gonna go for it. Um, it's so sticky. Okay, here. My first bite of natto in life. I'm scared. Okay, I'm gonna take two beans and try it. Oh, it's a lot more mild than I expected. I mean, I can't say that it's like so delicious, like I'm obsessed with it, but it's very mild. Hmm. Five minutes later. Okay, update. I know I said I forced myself to finish it, but this is how much I have left. 
I just can't do it. I feel like throwing up. I just can't do it. It's not that it's like super flavorful. Something about it just ugh. But I just told my friend and she said it took her years to like it. So I guess it's like a very long term acquired taste. I don't really want to finish this. I feel like I need to wash my mouth out. But I'm sure I'll come to love it because I do like fermented beans. But that's it for today. I keep getting this feeling like I need to like cleanse my palate. So I'm gonna have strawberries and sugar for dessert. 